guys welcome to Quebec night my name is Hola Harry and today is another beautiful week beautiful day for BTC profit yeah um, from a couple of days I've not dropped BTC profit and let's see how it makes a lot of sense okay you know if we analyze BTC properly you will be able to use that analysis to trade other coins for the day and understand how the trend works now as it is I'm going to start to analyze BTC from top-down analysis okay and let's see how that works so that we can understand where exactly is BTC heading to okay so let's see okay here we are now let's remove all these lines let's remove all the lines let's start from the very very beginning let's do like this okay yeah, beautiful. so let's go to our four hours time frame we always make it very simple you don't have to make things too complicated for yourself after all the complications you still find yourself in floating loss or you find yourself in you know losing money so that's why you have to make it very very simple so let's look at it look at this chart simple and straight now if you check on the four hours time frame what i can see here i can see a downtrend then i can also see a symmetrical triangle on the four hour time frame and believe me when you spot any strategy on the four hour time frame they are visually reliable yes yes okay so i can see something like this just straight based on what you see don't struggle with the the charts at all this is four hours time frame so we are from here to here can you see that yeah so we have a very strong support so we have another one from here to here can you see that symmetrical triangle in my price action courses i'm going to teach how to analyze your coins any coins you want to trade at all how to analyze them but we are starting with btc so that you understand that when you do your btc analysis properly then you have the higher chances of winning the market always okay so this is what we have yeah this look very fantastic now let's now we can identify our symmetrical triangle then then let's identify our support and resistance now when you're using support and resistance also consider your psychological level they are also very very important because when the market gets to those prices they, they tend to react so that's the reason why sometimes you might find your support and resistance not being respected is due to the psychological level so don't say i didn't tell you yeah so so let's mark out our support so we have this support here don't forget this is this is um this is four hours time frame so we have another support here can you see you see that business is actually respecting those support levels okay so this was able to move from here all the way to this region yeah and we are approaching new york session so let's understand what btc have in stock so we have another support around here here okay so it simply means on the four hour time frame we are going to trade based on breakouts okay based on breakouts now how do we go about about this we can spot a symmetrical triangle so we have another one here and that's another strong support around that area can you see that so it simply means if btc breaks out here up pull back uptrend can you see that yep or it breaks out here now the breakout i'm going to explain how it really works down pull back down can you see that so when you spot a symmetrical triangle this is exactly what you're expecting from the market so that's for four hours time frame so if you have to trade based on four hours time frame make sure that the, the uh, there's a candle closing below okay that will close below this line so if any candle close below that shows that the downtrend is very very strong if any candle close above that shows that the uptrend is very very strong okay so let's leave it at that so based on four hours time frame if you have to trade this four hours time frame you have to wait for this to materialize before you take action that's how it works 
So when this happens, you should continue to monitor the market on a four hour time frame. By the time it happens, you now go all the way to your lower time frame, either five minutes or 15 minutes to go and check for your entry. That's it, very simple. Yeah, so let's also analyze the market based on one hour time frame. If we, if we find out the same thing, that simply means we are really, really on point and um, it's very, very cool if you can take that um, step and you'll be happy. So let's go here, one hour time frame. Now this is one hour time frame, okay? If need be, you can remove all these lines so that you can be able to analyze your one hour time frame very well. Okay? Yeah, so that's it. So here you can see what we have. Okay, let's remove this. Let's remove this. Let's remove this. Okay. Yeah, this is good. So I think this line is good. And this line is a bit far from the entry. But if you have to take a trade in this coming New York session, let's come closer to the market and let's see. What we, what I can see here, I don't think they have the same trend. The trend is quite different. Okay, so let's remove all this so that we can analyze the one hour time frame differently. Okay, so I can also spot the symmetrical triangle. Here, here. Okay, now no, look at this. Look at what happened. But on the four hours time frame, it's a bit different. Okay, it's a bit different. Can you see that? So we are spotting the edges. Now can you see that here? Bit is actually broke out. But if you check the support, yeah, this is the support. You have to use the previous trend. That's the that's the confluence. It didn't get uh, BTC was supposed to close below this, okay? Before you consider a downtrend, but BTC did not get to this list even after moving out of the trend line. I hope you understand that. That's why we are, we, are, we have this, okay? Now let's see. Let's come closer. Let's come closer. So on the one hour time frame, I can see this is the closest support. Then now look at this. Look at this. I can see something like downtrend, pull back, downtrend. Okay, so you can see on the one hour time frame, BTC still have that you know downtrend vibes. So we have to consider that as well. Now, for us to consider BTC not a downtrend, okay, then BTC need to close need to close above here pay attention can you see that yeah that's the support can you see you can see a lot of candles wovering around this arena right yeah they are they're actually uh, they're not closing above this line they're not closing above this line you can see it not until there was an uptrend this uptrend was the one that gave birth to this downtrend but that's another thing entirely so can you see even here, no candle is closing above. So for us to consider a down, a an uptrend, then BTC need to close above twenty six nine twenty. Yes, here, then uptrend. But as as we speak, I can assure you that this is a downtrend. Okay, this is a downtrend. Now, if you look at it, it's looking at like BTC want to form something like head and shoulder, head, shoulder one, shoulder two. Okay, but it's still in progress. Okay, it's still in progress. So that's it. Very simple and straight. So as we speak, this is still a potential downtrend here. So if I want to go by one hour time frame, I'm gonna do this. Go short. This is your entry. Okay, that's your stop loss then all the way down here okay but let's go to the lower time frame to check for our entry that's 15 minutes so on the one hour time frame we already identify that BTC is on a downtrend okay can you see so from here looking at this from here all the way all the way down here right yeah that's the reason why we consider 
that downtrend has. So this place for you to go short. This zone is you have your entry around this zone. Yeah. Then you go short like this. Down all the way. Maybe it's coming back here to form a double bottom. Okay, can you see that? Double bottom. Then go back up if need be. If not, that downtrend for the four hours we now begin to consider that downtrend. You see? Yeah, begin to consider that downtrend so we can follow the market all the way. So down. So on the one hour time, we are so we are actually we actually determine this trend based on the one hour time frame. So in case there is a pullback on the lower time frame, don't get scared. Okay, it can still come back and form a double top. To go down can you see that can you see can you see that okay so i'm going to pick this this yellow yeah that's that's the entry now if you you can enter at this time you can enter for a short position but i know there will still be pullback yes i'm very very sure about that there will still be pullback so if there's a pullback you need to add more positions okay but if any candle close above yeah you have to go to the one hour time frame to check that on the one hour time frame this yellow horizontal line go to the one hour time frame if any candle close above that line then you have to consider that this this uh trend has changed okay this trend has changed yes that is just it very simple and straightforward okay so as I speak it is on a short position and let's see how that works yep so for us to consider an uptrend currently we are on a downtrend like this so we need btc to close below here to consider the, for the downtrend to continue that on the four hour time frame and um, on the one hour time frame this is still a valid downtrend which give our give us an entry as we speak then if you go if it's if any candle kind of close on the one hour time frame check it out well if any candle kind of close above this yellow then that shows that the trend has changed okay there's no certain anything in the market you know you just have to continue to do what you know how to do make it simple and straightforward don't make your chart too complicating so that you can get a smooth result right so let's see how this is going to play out we're waiting for the tokyo session i'm going to i'm also going to enter this trade so that i'll show you guys now guys on our adv advanced class i'm going to be dropping different signals from different coins yes that's exactly what it is so guys wait for that and you'll see how we're gonna you're gonna be getting a lot of signals from our lower or from our in our advanced class yeah so get ready for that so this is btc profit thank you very much that will be it for this video then wait for more videos to drop i'll be dropping more videos in the advanced class thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video bye for now